Hi, you guys. Welcome back. And of course, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy, and this is your February 2020 reading for Earth Signs. So if you are a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign, then this reading is for you. I will be using the Psychic Tarot in today's reading. Um, and as you can see, I've already shuffled and laid out five cards. Um, so I'm just going to do this reading the way that I normally read using the Psychic Tarot deck. All right, you guys. So let's get going for you Earth signs out there. Moving on. So... Currently in February 2020, you're kind of going to be walking away from something, um, saying goodbye uh, to a particular stage in your life, um, and kind of out with the old, in with the new, turning over a new leaf kind of thing. All right. Now, these cards along with that show that Whatever it is you're moving on from is actually opening your heart. So your, you know, new energy is going to begin flowing to different places in your life as you begin to open your heart and move on from whatever it is you have to walk away from. Now, this open heart also leads to, you know, material and spiritual prosperity. So... The more that you open up and the more that you let new creative energies flow through you, the more success that you will have. All right. Now, in looking forward, because this is like explaining the main card, and now to look forward, you are going through a transformation. Um, now, that disruption card at the end is almost just kind of like reminding you that through every transformation, there are going to be disruptions. There are certain energy blockages that you're going to run into. And so you just have to look out for that and know that as you change and transform and move on, then, you know, certain things are going to come up that you're going to have to then look at and you're going to have to reflect on some things and you're, you know, going to have to actually work on some things as you move forward. So overall, this is a very good reading. You are definitely moving on from something in your past. Um, and it's going to actually be opening you up in different ways and helping you to change and transform. The disruption, like I said, is a good thing because that is really... Anytime there's disruption, then you know that there's good change taking place, basically. So, that's a good reading for you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of get a little clarity. Let's go ahead and clarify a little bit with the Rider Weight Tarot deck. Let me just give them a few shuffles here. All right, one more shuffle. All right. Here we go. Okay, so what you're moving on from is actually something that has been keeping you bound, really, in certain ways. Whether it was um, an addictive... Uh, trait that you're letting go of or, you know, whether it is you're walking away from a particular part of yourself like ego um, or bad habits, addictions, things like that. The devil card is coming up reverse there because it's showing you're moving past those things. You're starting to realize that what used to keep you bound and feeling like you're being chained and locked up is now you're starting to realize that you're free from it. And it's actually self-created because look at the chains around their neck. The chains aren't even that tight. They're starting to realize that you can let it go. 
Now, this is going to lead to great happiness. That Ace of Cups is like your cup runneth over. So as you let go, again, over here with the Love Begins card and then the Ace of Cups, it's just reiterating what we already said, that it's going to have, you're going to have a new sense of creativity flowing through you. You know, you're going to have your heart opening up. It's going to feel good. Now, over here, though, on this side, we have the Three of Wands, and that card is reversed. So, this isn't necessarily something you have to look too far forward on. What this card, I believe, is trying to say is just to take every um, moment as it is. So, you don't necessarily have to look into the future at this time. Right now, you just need to take it day by day and begin to realize you know, as you go, what's going on rather than looking too far ahead. And then finally, we have the eight of cups and that one is reversed. Again, we have that sense of walking away. Um, as you can see, he's walking away from the cups. But now this one is reversed because maybe the part of uh, disruption here is actually um, just that you're, it's almost like you're hanging on to some kind of emotion that really you should, it's probably time to let go of. Um, and that could be what is causing the disruption here at the end of this reading. So, all right, you guys, now I'm going to give you a crystal angel card for advice moving forward. This one just flopped right out. Sapphire. It says, easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. I do know that all of you earth signs just are hard workers, each and every one of you. So it's always a good reminder to just give yourself a break once in a while. It is okay to stop working long enough to, you know, give yourself a little bit of rest and relaxation. All right, Earth Signs, that's your reading for February 2020. I hope that this resonates with you, or at least parts of this reading resonated well with you. So I will see you next month. Be sure to give this video a big old like if it does resonate, and that way I know that you guys like the reading and I'm on the right track with it. Um, also, feel free to share this video with anyone out there as well. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next month. Bye.